Would you like to help your family get prepared for emergencies and disasters? It's as simple as getting a kit, making a plan, and being informed. Are you ready? Wow, what a beautiful day. It's so nice to be able to get out and enjoy the warm weather. But I know this is also the season that brings severe storms, and those can be dangerous. I don't like storms, Uncle. They scare me. All that thunder and lightning? I never know if there might be a tornado. Thunderstorms and tornadoes certainly can be frightening, but there's a lot we can do to make them less so. We can stay informed so we know if severe weather is coming our way, and we can know what to do to stay safe from lightning, hail, damaging winds, and even tornadoes. Golly, it would be great if I knew more about storms so I didn't have to be so afraid. I know someone who knows a whole lot about storms. Todd Krause of the National Weather Service. He's the Warning and Coordination Meteorologist in Chanhassen. He can tell us all about severe weather and how to stay safe. Hey. Oh. How do we know if storms are coming our way? There are a couple of great ways that you can find out about the storms that might be coming. Our weather website is weather.gov. So just go to weather.gov and then you'll see a map of the United States. Just click on Minnesota and that'll bring you right to our weather website for the Twin Cities and you'll be able to see the weather forecast that way. Or by listening to weather radio. You can listen and we've got our forecast on there and that'll tell you about storms that might be coming up. And then with smartphones, if you have an app, uh, you can get your weather forecasts and weather warnings that way. So there are a whole bunch of different ways that you can get your weather forecasts and warnings and learn about the potential for severe weather. What makes a storm severe? A storm will be severe, certainly if there's a tornado, that's pretty obvious. But also if you've got strong hail, large hail, that's as big as a quarter or golf ball or something like that. Uh, so large hail or strong winds, winds of 58 miles per hour, and that's enough to start knocking down pretty large trees. So we've got tornadoes, strong winds, or large hail. All that makes a storm severe. How does the National Weather Service let people know when a storm is severe? A watch is issued when we think there might be severe weather. The tornado watch, the severe thunderstorm watch, it just means that it's possible that uh, storms may occur. Be aware that there might be storms and be prepared in case there are storms. If they actually do show up, then we switch over and issue weather warnings. And that's when you need to take shelter and do something. Once we issue the weather warning, it goes out to a whole bunch of people um, on our smartphones, on the internet, on weather radio, many, many different ways. TV stations, radio stations, they'll all broadcast the warning. So that's the best way to hear about our warnings. What should I do to stay safe from a severe storm? Well, if you're outside, you need to get inside. Um, certainly hailstones, you don't want to be outside when the hail is falling. And then for tornadoes, of course, you'll want to be inside. You'll want to be on the lowest level possible. If you have a basement, get to the basement, or if you don't have a basement, a lower level, uh, an interior room is the best, and away from windows, because those windows could be blowing out. Oftentimes a small bathroom that's in the middle of the house or apartment complex or something like that is really good. If you're in an office building, a stairwell is really good as well. So just the main idea is get inside. What about people who are driving when a storm hits? How do they stay safe? Find whatever shelter you can. Get inside any building you possibly can. Um, if you're out driving, same thing. If you can, get outside and get out of the car and into some kind of building if you possibly can. That's the best bet. If you're outside and uh, there's a bridge nearby, a lot of people are tempted to go and, and be sheltered underneath that bridge and that's actually one of the worst things you can do. It acts as a wind tunnel, and secondly, it stops up traffic and now nobody can get through. Is it true that any storm, not just severe storms, can have dangerous lightning? How do I protect myself from lightning? Hear that thunder, 
you know that means lightning and from lightning you can only be safe if you're inside. So get inside a house, get inside a vehicle, get inside a building, something like that, so that if lightning strikes, you'll be safe. When thunder roars, get indoors. Gee, Uncle, I feel better now that I know how to deal with severe storms, but big thunderclaps still make me jump. Severe storms are dangerous, and you should always treat them seriously. But with a little knowledge and a good emergency plan, they don't have to be so scary.